This is only the beginning. Bonjour à tous, comment ça va? Hello everyone, my name is Stuttering Chris, but you can call me Christopher if you want to. And today, we're going to be talking about self-confidence. As a YouTuber, I haven't been posting as much as I know I should post. And I was, uh, well, I procrastinate. The other day I've been thinking to myself, and I've got to get get over this procrastination hurdle. I have to stop procrastinating. And then I've been watching videos on, well, motivational videos, and trying to figure out how to quit procrastinating. And one thing uh, I l learned from motivational videos is that procrastination is possibly r rooted in poor self-esteem. Poor self-esteem! The more I thought about it, the more I realized that that makes a lot of sense. I do have poor self-esteem. I do procrastinate. Maybe there's a correlation there. Correlation. If I were being honest with my s s s self, I would... Um, I would s s say that the reason that I procrastinate is probably because I'm thinking to myself that I'm uh, what's the use what reward do I have it's a big task I don't want to get up and do it because I probably won't do a good job I probably will do a crappy job and and I, and I just don't want to embarrass myself I don't want to do a bad job, so what's the use? Why bother? And I would procrastinate, and there is the problem. I get nowhere. I think that anyone can realize that they have a very poor, a very different mentality than those who are successful. Let me ask you this. You ever seen confident people hang out with poor self-esteem people? No! Confident people hang out with other confident people. Poor s s the poor self-esteem people hang out with other poor self-esteem. There is a pattern here and it all depends on your mentality. I realize that I need to have a different kind of mentality in order to get ahead. Confidence. In the words of the Mandalorian, this is the way. I'm on a journey to understand and hopefully pass on what it means to be a confident person, regardless of my stutter. And again, in order to be a confident person, you have to have a certain kind of mindset. And that's the key word right there. Mindset. A lot of you are probably thinking, all right, Chris, how do you have this kind of m m mindset? What do I have to do to be this kind of confident person? That was my first question too. And I've come to the, come to a realization that you have to stop thinking about uh, uh, what other people think of you. And you have to stop thinking about what other people are doing. Most people, care about themselves and for that for that reason you have to care about yourself and I don't think that's a bad thing you have to s stop thinking about you have to stop thinking if other people are looking at you they're not you, uh, you have to s stop thinking if other people are judging you. They're not. They don't care about you. You have to stop thinking that other people are angry at you. They're not. They don't care about you. They don't care about you. They care about themselves. They're probably thinking that you are doing it to them. Don't worry about other people's approval. Approve yourself. 
give yourself that approval, give yourself that permission to let go and be yourself. Give yourself that, give yourself that. Give yourself that approval and that permission because you deserve it. You are worth it. You are, you are. I, I realized that and that was like a huge weight lifted off of me. I, I felt uh, good about myself and that doesn't happen that often. Me feeling good and, pr and proud, happy of myself and you know what? Hell yeah. I love myself mm. for the first time in my life I'm 24 almost 25 I feel good about myself I see myself in a more positive way and you know what heck yeah and you know what heck yeah hecking heck yeah that's right, I curse. I don't care what you think. Heck. Another realization that I've uh, come across is this thing called affirmation. You may be asking yourself, what is an affirmation? Affirmations are statements that you tell yourself uh, uh, that encourage you and make you feel good and optimistic. Like... I am good enough. I am smart enough. I am enough. I am possible. I am good looking enough. Why are you laughing? These words give you encouragement. And I for sure believe that anyone and everyone can have this. Can have that confidence, can have that happiness, can have that self validation. Including you. Because if I can do it, then so can you. I used to believe that it can happen to everyone else. It can happen to everyone else in the in the world except me, because that's just how things are. This is this is not the mentality to have. Ever. You can do it. You can be happy. You can be valid. You can be a v v v valid person. Of and I believe in you. But, but perhaps I can only take you halfway. It's up to you to take you all the way. It's up to you to take you. It's up to you to take yourself all the way through. Ladies and gentlemen, in order to have a confident m mindset, uh, it's definitely an everyday thing. You can't just s give yourself um, a word of confidence one day, one, one, one time, one day, and and you're okay for and you're f f f uh, fine the rest of the week or the year or whatever. No, it takes a uh, daily effort. It takes a conscious effort. It takes, no, it takes a daily effort. It takes a conscious effort. You gotta do it every day. Perhaps it's even an hourly effort. If you s spend your whole life thinking that you are not uh, good enough, you're not smart enough, you're not handsome enough, you're not this enough, you're not that enough. I believe I have the key to these m mental chains that are Im that are holding you back and have been holding you back your whole life. Get this. That key that I have is the fact that I don't believe that it is you giving yourself those insecurities. I don't believe that those insecurities belong to you. I don't think that that's your own mind thinking that. Your 
probably uh, thinking that, Chris, how can it not be my own mind? Uh, I'm the one that's thinking that it's my own, it's my mind. How can I not be thinking my own mind? All of those, all of those insecurities that you have, you're not this enough. You're not the, the, that enough. I believe, I believe that, I think that those insecurities were given to you. Someone else gave you those insecurities because they themselves were insecure and no one taught you to how to get how to get rid of those insecurities and negative thoughts and um, I presume that no one was uh, there to make you realize that you had to get rid of it and therefore it stuck with you all this time I'm here to tell you, let it go. I'm here to, to give you that realization, to let go of those insecurities. Those are not your own. You can give yourself positivities because you owe it to yourself. How much time of your life have you, have you wasted because of those insecurities, of that of that uh, voice telling you that you can't do it. I'm here to tell you that you can. I'm here to tell you to believe in yourself. And I'm here to tell you to l love yourself because you owe it to you. Someone else told you that you're not good enough. Someone or something else told you that you're not talented enough. Someone else told you that you're not uh, smart enough. Someone else told you that you're not this enough. You're not that enough. Someone else gave you that kind of garbage. And what do we do with garbage? We th throw it away. Because it doesn't hold any value to us. Every day, you have to rem remind yourself that you can be good enough. You are good enough. You are smart enough. You are talented enough. And you are awesome. And everyone else who thinks differently can all go to heck. My name's Christopher. I'm here to help in, in any way I can. Thank you all for watching this. Um, follow me on Twitter at stuttering underscore Chris. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me uh, on all my s social m m medias where... They will be posted in the description below. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up, like, share, subscribe. Don't forget, don't forget to hit that. Um, don't forget to hit that notification bell, um, and to notify you every time I upload. Thank you all very much. I, I love you, but please love yourself. This is Stuttering Chris signing off telling you that knowledge is everything. Thank you.